ex-lesbian has an apocalyptic vision, testimony of Alexia Karagounis, city of Thessaloniki in Greece. The year 1998. My name is Alexia, I'll start talking about my testimony from the beginning, my mother became pregnant with my father, and that day I was formed in her womb, when my mother did an ultrasound, the doctor said, mom is expecting a girl. She came home and told my father she preferred a boy, as this was her first child, she wanted a boy, this was the desire of my mother's heart and because of this, I was still rejected in the womb, she wanted to abort me, but my father would not allow her to do it, when I was four years old, I began to feel the rejection of my mother, I grew up and I became a strange girl, I was thinking in my mind, if my mother likes a son, I can be that child. My rebellious reason said that I did not ask to be born a woman, I told my mother I did not ask to come into the world, she planned for me to be born, I want to tell everyone who hears me, who determines the sex of the child is God, because of the curse, my breasts did not develop, but today I give glory to God for being free, I do not care for my body, what matters is my soul is saved, there in heaven, we will have our perfect bodies. I began to dislike men and began to feel a strong desire for women, Satan realized all this contempt of my mother and worked on it to destroy my life, I started dating other girls without my parents knowing, my first sexual intercourse was with a woman, although I kept my hair grown and wore women's clothing, my behavior in front of the women was of a man, I was possessed completely by an evil spirit. My parents did not suspect anything because I knew how to be feminine when it came to makeup, a girl passed by on my street every day with a Bible in her hand, I felt an interest in that girl, wanted a serious relationship with this young woman, I went to visit her church through a pamphlet I got from her, glory to God, Jesus knows how to work, he uses our sinful desires to win our souls. That invitation made me enter the church for the first time and have an encounter with Jesus, but what led me to this meeting was this girl who served as bait so that I would fall into the network of my Savior, through my weakness, I was rescued by God, I entered the church and a man of God looked at me and revealed my whole life, he knew that I was a lesbian and yet he said that it was not my fault for following this path, but my mother, when she opened her mouth and said she preferred a boy instead of a girl, she had inadvertently thrown a curse into her belly, through her words that came from her heart with strong desire, that dare demon entered my mother's womb and possessed me, I was born demoniac and had never liked a man until I received liberation, that servant of God placed his hands on my shoulders and prayed, I fell on the floor in a demonized frenzy and that demon that lived inside me twenty years ago is gone, that servant of God said that I was possessed by the spirit of lesbianism. I was freed from the devil who was with me from the womb and for the first time was relieved and happy to be a woman, I gave my life to Jesus and those evil feelings disappeared from my life, I no longer felt that desire for women and everything returned to normal with me, I went home jumping with joy, I began to feel feelings for men and I ended my relationships with other women, I told my pastor of the church where I had become a Christian about the new feelings I felt. The pastor gave me an instruction telling me to pray not to fall into fornication now that a new feeling began to arise, he said I can relate to a man, but I had to pray and ask for a person from God, I was a new convert, but God knew the desire of my heart and revealed to his servant that I should not fall into yet another bondage of the devil which is prostitution, I began to pray every day asking for a husband, but God took it from my heart and changed my prayer so that I could strengthen myself. The voice of the Holy Spirit said softly that great mysteries are to be revealed to me, Jesus revealed to me when I pray, everything that was hidden would be revealed to me, he warned me not to relate to ungodly men, they would take me out of the way of God and take me to places that do not please God, God knew I was liking a Christian who sings in the worship group, I received a warning from God, none of those boys were the right people, even though they were members of his church. Jesus said that they are not released and that my future husband belongs to another denomination, Jesus said, I will bring my servant to visit your pastor's church, when that day comes you will receive a spiritual sign that he is your future husband, I will not speak the sign so that the devil does not see and prevent it before time, but on the day of the signal, you will know, 
and your time in this church will be short, I'll take you out of that denomination and put you in another church, your future husband will also be taken from the congregation where he is a member, I will send you both to a ministry that pleases me and together we'll make that work grow, do not be an anxious servant, wait on me and I will fulfill the desire of your heart, just look for my presence, I'm your groom and I need to prepare my bride, Jesus knew of my longing to have a husband since I never had a relationship as a wife all my life, I gave my way to Jesus and I trusted Jesus, dedicating myself to prayer, a neighbor invited me to visit her church, she said that a man of God was coming from far to preach in her church, he is called Kyriakos and came to preach at night in the church, that man did not preach the word of God and already began to perform wonders like a theater performance, he started making special effects by making the chairs fly by just pointing the finger, the flower pots on the pulpit floated in the middle of the church, he said it was the Holy Spirit that was raising the chairs and the vases, and said the Spirit is walking in the church, he commanded the Holy Spirit to put out the light of the church and the lamps began to blink until they were extinguished, then he had the lights switched on and the energy returned, the people glorified God and spoke in strange tongues saying the Holy Spirit is here, all this intrigued me, the circus performer in the pulpit of the house of prayer, it did not look like a night of worship, but it looked like he was an illusionist, a magician, a man doing magic in the house of God is a true circus of horrors, and still giving an order to the Holy Spirit as if he were his servant, this man did not preach the word that saves and builds, he just read a verse and did all that theater, he said that the Holy Spirit was manipulating objects, John 16, 8 9 says, when he comes, he will convict the world of sin and of justice and of judgment, of sin because they do not believe in me, from 10 to 11, of justice because I go to my father, and you will not see me again, and of the judgment, because the prince of this world is judged, the function of the Holy Spirit is to convince sin and judgment, the Holy Spirit is not a circus performer to do magic making objects float, what will this add to the lives of the people? When the service was over, I returned to the house in indignation, what I'm going to say will make the church scared, the same night that man made those signs, a horrible demon appeared to me and said, see, my prophets also preach, heal and make signs, it is not only you who perform, look at the signs my children do, extraordinary things that true Christians do not do, your God requires a lot of holiness and prayer to receive a gift, I demand nothing of my children and give varieties of gifts of signs and wonders, you do not need to sanctify and pray. I can give you many gifts for you to operate these signs and I will still cause your ministry to grow, I will make you known in the four corners of the world, and wherever your feet shall tread, the multitude shall follow you, think well, however much you pray and sanctify, you will never do as great a sign as my servants, you saw what my servant did in the church with the chairs and vases, he made them float. It was me and my followers that raised the chairs and the pots and made them float, I can make you float in front of the people of the church and they will know that you are a servant of God, I heard that devil speak those horrible things, I was paralyzed with fear and cried out the blood of Jesus, and that demon exploded in front of me disappearing, my mother heard the commotion and ran to my room and saw nothing, what that demon said about the signs of wonders is true. As much as we pray and sanctify, we will never do like the one I saw in the church, although the gift of signs of wonder exists, the same as those I have seen are too many. The pleasure of the Holy Spirit is not to make a show for the audience, showing that he has the power to make objects float, the Holy Spirit uses one person to accomplish what is sufficient and adds to the work of God. Already the devil likes to appear and give spectacles inside the church, wanting to prove that he has power. Worst of all this is the church being fueled by the number of signs, faith is by believing in the word and not by the signs, Jesus rebuked Thomas for wanting to see the signs of his hand, but he congratulated those who see by faith without having to see the signs, Jesus also said that the signs will accompany all his servants, he did not say to chase after signs but stated that these signs are following those who carry the truth, we cannot believe that all miracles come from God. James and Jambas servants of Satan operated great signs, 2 Timothy 3 to 8 Now as Jan and Jambas withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth, 
men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith, and Exodus 7 10 minus 12 and Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded, and Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh, and before his servants, and it became a serpent, then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments, for they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents, but Aaron's rod swallowed up their odds, Jesus warned that in the end times, false prophets will do more signs than the chosen ones, the word says that at the end of time those who would stand out in the signs are the false prophets, not the chosen ones, Matthew 24 24 for there shall arise false Christs, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect, my future husband went to visit my denomination, the Holy Spirit has revealed to me that he is the person whom God has prepared for me, his name is Dimitri Oskoseris, a God-fearing man, we began to talk and have a life of prayer without physical contact until our marriage, there were seven months praying for God to prepare us, and everything that Jesus said was fulfilled, I detached myself from my denomination and Dimitri Os disconnected from his, God put us in a blessed church, our coming to that ministry was from God that our presence drew souls to congregate with us, our ministry has grown in a wonderful way, my husband and I have an effective communication and great tranquility in the tests, we do not spend our money on technology much, all this is vanity, we are always saving for a rainy day, my husband expresses his feelings clearly, this makes it much easier in a relationship, a rude Christian who mistreats his wife wears out a relationship, avoid arguments that increase the tone of the voice, do not speak destructive words or negative words, exercise empathy, dialogue, and support each other's projects and dreams, the couple who do not believe in each other's projects spoils the relationship. The husband cannot force the other to do anything out of obligation, sex is mutual respect between the couple, if you go into abstinence, stay for a period that will not be long and Satan will not tempt you, husband and wife have to do things together. There can be no individuality between them each doing a different thing, individualism destroys the power of marriage, when they go to sleep they go together no one to lie down first and leave the other in the kitchen or in the living room, when you go out together everywhere go hand in hand, always forgive the failures of the other, if you have any conflict resolve sitting in the dialogue, understand that nothing is perfect and defects have to be corrected, in the morning when you wake up you have to give one good morning to the other and a strong hug without reason, when you are at work, send a message saying that everything is okay at home, tell your wife that you love her every day, repeat that word, just as Jesus loved the church, the love that Jesus has for the church is beyond comprehension, it reaches the point of him dying for her to rescue her from the darkness, a strong marital relationship is built over time by maintaining that discipline, it all starts with love and good management of good habits that develop every day, it does not allow married time to begin to arise in the absence of attention that is detrimental to a marriage. The solution is always to innovate good things with which to come to unite the marriage more, do not complain about your wife, the woman should not complain about her husband, stop talking badly about each other and still justify yourself being right, do not let Satan destroy your marriage, a marriage is like a garden that one must cultivate over time, I am warning you this because Jesus told me about many marriages being destroyed because the couple did not understand each other. Many Christians divorce over futile and trivial matters, when my husband and I disagree, we share our faults with each other, asking forgiveness for each other, that's the maturity we have, we are avoiding making the same mistakes in our marriage and we are improving every day, we are growing in our married life, we had a flaw in wanting to overdo each other's attention to the point of suffocating each other, this was putting an end to our married life the excessive control that forbade the other to talk to the people of the church, we are leaders of groups and jealousy was disturbing the work, the basis of everything is trust and jealousy does not justify distrust, this wears and oppresses anyone, the lie is the only one that ruins the marriage, my husband and I get adjusted to many things, God has given me a wonderful and understanding husband who always helps me in prayer, 
We always pray together at night. One day I was praying and the presence of God was so strong that I was taken away. Suddenly I came across a giant black body. It looks like a gigantic being and I was close to his mouth. I looked like an insect near that giant mouth. This black body feeds on souls. I could see how that body was getting wide when the souls entered through the mouth that was open. I saw the mouth of that place opening and swallowing millions of souls. The more people swallowed the more its size grew. The place grew like a bladder. Hell is a living organism that feeds on sin. That body devoured everything that had sinned. The mouth did not stop to swallow all the people of different sins. All kinds of sin go to this place. The variety of iniquity is the vitamin for that body. This organism together with all the souls within it will be cast into the fire to be eternally burned. As I approached the mouth of hell, it opened to me and the padlock that closes the door has been opened. Revelation chapter 20 verse 14 says that death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire. Proverbs chapters 30 verse 16 says that hell has a womb. Proverbs 30 hours 16 minutes hell and the mouth of the womb. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 12 says that hell has a mouth where conscious souls descend, Pro 1 12 let us swallow them up alive as the grave, and whole, as those that go down into the pit, Isaiah 5 verse 14, speaks that hell has a mouth, Isa 5 14 therefore hell hath enlarged herself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory, and their multitude, and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth, shall descend into it that mouth sucked me like a vacuum cleaner and I slipped down the throat of hell, it was full of mud and rotten flesh, I fell into an abyss that looked like it had no end to my fall, I looked like a stone being thrown down into the abyss, I was in a deep hole and screamed until my throat was bursting, Jonah chapters 2 verses 5 to 6, says that of the algae that are wound on the head, it also speaks of pits, eternal prisons and the locks of the earth, John 2 to 5 6 The waters compassed me about, even to the soul, the depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head, I went down to the bottoms of the mountains, the earth with her bars was about me for ever, yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. I started to walk through that place and I saw a valley of only a homosexual man. These men were on top of each other and a voice said that they themselves had sex between them when they were alive on earth. I also saw a friend of mine who died five years ago, she was a lesbian and when we were still living, we went out to the nightclubs together, her name is Adristua, and when she saw me she screamed my name, she was in a place filled with lesbians, that place would be my home if I did not convert, I kept on walking and saw a man in torment. This man I met him on the hospital bed, my pastor had gone to the hospital and evangelized him, the man is terminally ill, the doctors said he had cancer and there was no way, he was condemned to death, his solution was to give his life to Jesus, he did not want to repent and told my pastor that if Jesus was good, he would not have let cancer eat him from the inside, and he departed without repenting of his sins and was sorry in that place. I also saw a woman who worked as a prostitute, she was my neighbor and died two years after a car accident, when she saw me, she asked me to get her out of that place, I also saw two men who were disabled while still living on the land, I saw a man who was blind and was inside a fire pit, a voice said that even though he was blind he had an evil heart, he used his tongue to lie and still caused divisions within the family. That man had been born blind but lived in fornication, he paid a person to take him to the nightclubs and when he got there he got drunk and had sex with several women, in hell, he could see the fire of torment consuming him, the other man had no leg and crawled through the fire, a voice said that this man was a Christian, but he began to walk into houses of prostitution, he betrayed his wife who is a missionary who lived praying for God to raise his ministry, she also prayed to God to bless her marriage thanking Jesus for the great man that God placed in his life. She believed he was faithful, his legs were taking him to places that were not God's will, this man, when he had converted, had promised God that his feet would never set foot in these places, he was gifted with a car from a servant of God who gave heart to him to use for the work, but he started using the car for other things, taking his impious friends to prostitute themselves in these nightclubs, and he filled his car with women.
He was preaching the word of God in adultery over the pulpit, until one day he did not take his friends and went alone to prostitute himself. God did not want anything to happen to his friends, but to him, that day he had an accident and both legs were amputated. His wife wept and questioned God, saying, Lord, how will your servant do the work? Her husband also murmured calling God a hangman until he turned away and his heart stiffened, even without his legs, he treated his wife badly, and when the people of the church would visit him, he expelled them all saying that he did not want to know about Jesus for allowing him to go without his legs, the loss of his legs did not lead that man to repentance, he died and came to hell without his legs and crawling through the fire and screaming in pain. I continued to walk and passed by a group of people being whipped by the demons, one voice said, the ones you see are the deviants and backsliders, they are suffering the same lashes that Jesus suffered, when I passed through that place and continued to walk, I saw millions of souls falling from above, they caught fire before reaching the ground of hell, the screams I heard in that place are chilling, a force pulled me up and I was out of hell, I was floating in the air and times tribulation a voice said, be prepared that I will show you the visions that will happen at the end time, I looked up and saw a great meteor falling from the sky on the ground, this meteor when it crashed in the city knocked down four buildings that were together, these buildings had several people inside who died with the fire of the meteor shock, pieces of buildings fell on the avenue over the crowds of people passing by on the street. The gigantic pieces of buildings fell on cars, houses, shops, and the flames spread all around, multitudes of people were killed being crushed and burned, this sight startled me, but then I saw another larger meteor fall into the sea, the impact was so strong that the waters of the sea were agitated and caused a tremor in the bottom of the Indian Ocean, Atlantic and Pacific. The waves rose more than 600 meters and continued to rise beyond that, buildings of 10 stories up that were near the seas were covered, people were dragged from the windows of these buildings across the waves the waters took to the avenues, dragging cars, trucks, trees, houses, buildings, and crowds of people, this happened in the four corners of the world, islands were submerged, small countries by the sea disappeared and civilizations were engulfed small countries that are islands have been under the waters at the bottom of the sea, when the waters became normal, the sea was full of bodies, sharks, crocodiles, and other marine animals were filled with so much meat that they were dragged by the waters into the sea, and on the avenue, there were many bodies, one above the other, and the streets were full of bodies everywhere, it seemed that the cities were hit by ten atomic bombs because of the wreckage that the waves caused, sharks, whales, fish, and other marine animals were also dragged ashore because of the waves, several boats and large ships were swallowed up by the waters, the dead bodies that were scattered through the streets went into decomposition, government officials did not know where to bury both dead bodies of people and animals, with those dead bodies in the middle of the street, epidemics of disease began to multiply through insects, worms, and bacteria. The demons at sea were more aggressive and swirling in the seas and hauling vessels, Reverend 8 to 8 minus 9 and the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea, and had life, died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. I looked up at the sky and I saw a giant stone coming from the universe and shattered into many small pieces on entering into the atmosphere of our planet, those small pieces were small in the air, but when they fell on the ground they were giants, each piece of them fell into the sea and into the rivers, this gigantic rock that came from space had toxic poison, when it fell into the waters they became contaminated and millions of marine animals died and floated on the water. There was no space in the rivers or in the seas for the boats to walk because they had so many dead animals. There were animals torn apart by the impact of this large space rock. The waters became blood and strong stench of carrion invaded the entire planet, the waters of blood curdled and many animals died of thirst for drinking those polluted waters. The oxygen level of these waters fell and took all life from the water, changing its entire molecular structure. The hydrogens of the waters have changed causing a major disaster in the middle aquatic habitat, 
the fishing industry went bankrupt for not finding fish in the water to sell, water was sparse on land and inadequate for many people, the waters that were not blood became bitter because of the toxin from that space meteorite, terrestrial animals and waterfowl that rely on fresh water to quench thirst have died because of the toxin, the taps were flowing with bitter waters killing millions of people, those who drank from this water died poisoned by a deadly substance, those small pieces of meteorite have been distributed to other rivers. The water currents scattered these particles leading to other rivers to kill the rest of the animals that depend on fresh water, restaurants and snack bars that rely on water to make food and juices have failed, Reverend 8 colon 10 11 and the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter, water was more expensive than gold, and many millionaires gave the fortune to get clean water neighborhoods, the poor population that has no money died of thirst, only the powerful who managed to obtain all the reserves of waters vegetable gardens and all types or plantations that depend on water have died, plantation farms failed because they had no water to irrigate, death has entered reaping millions of people and animals across the planet, the rivers were contaminated by the pieces of that great stone, I do not know if it was a river with several slopes or rivers from other places, I also saw several rivers turning into blood, not just a river but a variety of rivers from various places in the world. I do not know if it was because of the meteorites, but the reserve of the fresh water of the land diminished and the people quenched their thirst by drinking blood. Blood flowed through the taps, this was the only water that served to quench the thirst of the people. The blood flowing from the taps had millions of bacteria and caused mortal illness in people, seeing that chaotic situation I was frightened by the terrible destruction that is coming to earth. Luke 21 25 And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, the sea will roar, roar like a ferocious lion and swallow the lives, people have told me that the world will not end by water because of the promise God made to Noah and that is true, what the Lord has revealed to me that the waters will be his judgment against the rebellious nations. It will be the wrath of God against the man who has polluted the waters because of the oil that killed the marine animals, water also has life, if it did not have the animals, it would not survive, the waters will take revenge on the men who have destroyed it, Jesus showed me in the bottom of the sea, beneath the earth a terrible monster, I do not know if it's a demon or a monster, but it's spiritual, Jesus said that he is the Leviathan who will soon shake the waters, where there are rivers, seas or lakes, Reverend 13 to 1 And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy, after these revelations, I returned to earth, my husband was next to my body lying on the floor, we were praying together and he said that I stopped my prayer, but the Holy Spirit reassured his heart and said that it would be okay. Thank God for this opportunity to share my testimony, may the Holy Spirit give grace and strength to all of you Amen.